driving through Cocheval at the moment, heading to Maribel to go do a ski tour. Look at the mountains out the window. <laughs> um, I did a little tour a few days ago, a week ago maybe. No, not quite. Um, and I haven't really done much touring this season. So, it will be lovely to go do a tour. This, it's so sunny, the weather is beautiful. Um, and me and my friend are going to tour up to a refuge um, in a valley and sleep there tonight. Cook some food, have some dinner. Um, and then tomorrow, tour higher up onto a glacier. Um, yeah, it should be really fun. So I'm super excited and I'll film as much as I can and bring you on the journey. So this is the beautiful place that we're about to set off hiking that way into. This is my friend George. <laughs> we're gonna have a little adventure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're in a nature reserve. We're gonna go past a little, little hut. Little hut. <laughs> You can see the hut up there. And because we're in the nature reserve, we have to stick to the paths. But it's super beautiful. It's still beautiful and sunny in the Maribel Valley. But when we get up here, <laughs> it's cloudy and it's even snowing a little bit. We shouldn't get too cold in the way up there very sweaty from the first incline through the trees that is indeed where we're heading hopefully it's going to be a bit more good now. hopefully yeah it's a little bit cloudy now tomorrow's forecast sun though very excited to head up here lots <laughs> Are like an hour in maybe we have one hour to go to the refuge but it's all pretty flat so it shouldn't be too bad how long yeah touring for an hour one hour to go but it's pretty flat up this valley so it should be lovely and it's very very beautiful so this is where we're going refuge is so um i think we're going about double time to what's recommended on the on the sign this cabin yeah. we are speedy this cabin i would love to live in <laughs> oh yeah i'd put a window <laughs> it's my dream house <laughs> as we get a bit higher up. Look at that beautiful view down the valley. It's getting a little bit colder. Now we're at the, oh, look at this hair. Woo. Now we're getting close to refuge. We're at 2,100. And George is just filling up our water bottles in the last bit of stream that we think we're gonna find. There it is. The refuge we're staying at tonight in the most beautiful setting. <laughs> one here is the summer refuge which is closed during the winter 
And this little one here is the winter refuge. I'll just show you the view. <laughs> it's so beautiful. And tomorrow we're going to be walking up here to get onto the glacier. I'm super excited. <laughs> so George has made some nice food. We have couscous and soup. We have some friends in the refuge tonight. I'm going to give you a little tour. This is the little kitchen area with a lovely wood burning stove. <laughs> and then up the stairs, we have a very cute bedroom. It's where I'm staying. Wait, this is gonna be better. <laughs> I'm staying here, George is up here, and then our two friends are down there. It's very cute. Um, we have the view outside through the window. It's 6.45 and we're setting off from the refuge. Here we go. Give us a wave, Em. is just touching the peaks. Look at that. This is where we're heading. So in the valley, it's freezing. I mean, up here is so cold. The wind is really, really cold and my cheeks, my hands and my butt are freezing. <laughs> Hopefully the sun coming up now will warm us up a little bit. And I think by midday, it's gonna be pretty hot. Just got into the sun. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful up here. And we just come over the crest and got the first view, first look of the glacier. I'll show you. So that there is the glacier. Glacier du Jebkola. Hard work. It's nine o'clock. 
We've come all the way up this valley. How many meters above sea level are we? 2750, I think. 2750, so we've climbed already 600 meters. It's pretty good going. I'm pretty knackered. <laughs> and we're about to make um, a harness out of a little sling. Safety first. <laughs> we're stopping for a little food break, sun cream application, and yeah, putting on some extra safety gear to go on the glacier, which is just that. Wow. Mm. Uh, let me try to zoom in. There you go. Zoom in on the grass here. So we're going to walk up here. You might be able to see some people on it already. Yeah, I think not by the zoom on my phone. <laughs> there are some people on it already. And there's some and people then, at the bottom of it as well. Yeah. Quite a few people. And then Maybe this is the glass here. All of the these things that you see are crevasses where the glacier is splitting as it moves down the mountain. Very cool. Hiking up is getting very hard now. I can tell that we're pretty high. What yeah, we like are two, at 2,950. 2,950 meters above sea level. And my lungs are telling me that. <laughs> Check out this stunning view behind me. You can see the Mont Blanc. I don't know if I can show you it. This one, so beautiful. Right. So we're continuing up here. I don't know if you can see the skin line zigzagging up. Um, and then we're gonna ski back down this face. And I just wanna show you. We're gonna ski via where those three people are spinning through. Yeah, ski down right here. And I just wanna show you these stunning crevasses. We're right next to, if not on the glacier now. We're on the glacier. Definitely on the glacier. We are roped up. Um, and can you see that amazing, amazing ice? Slightly blue. I'll try and give you a better we'll get view of it when we get closer, but higher. Woo! -hoo! So we're heading up just beyond where these people are and then skiing down this bridge and we're gonna drop down into this basin and then ski just to the right of these crevasses here. So we should get a good view of the ice. Beautiful, beautiful. So there was no toilet in the refuge last night and I didn't poop yesterday, error. So I've carried my poop full in my bowel all the way up the glacier this morning. Can't wait to get back down to go to the toilet. <laughs> we made it to 3,100 on the glacier and we're ready to ski back down. That was connecting us together. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm gonna be Glass anyway. right. I'm going to take all of the rope. Oop. A little bit caught on my helmet. <laughs> nice. And I'm going to ski down. There we go. Where is it? Like this, and I got one. I'll tie it up, and we're ready to go. Let's awesome! Ski down. Let's ski. So we skied down and traversed across to just to get close to this beautiful, beautiful blue ice. Yeah. But for today, this is our tracks. First descent. We're skiing down now towards the Mont Blanc. back down to the refuge where we stayed last night <coughs> the snow was kind of mixed conditions on the way down it was lovely at the top where we have the videos of us skiing 
beyond that, it kind of got a bit heavy slush mixed with ice, but still beautiful, beautiful ski. Um, we've come, we're just stopping at the refuge because we left some rubbish and some bits here that we didn't want to take up. Um, so we're just going to grab those and then head back down. It should be about 45 minutes back down, hopefully. Um, and wow, the valley that the refuge is in is so beautiful in the sun. I'm thinking about bringing my family here in summer. If I do, I'll tag the video I make of that and link them. Gorgeous. George is packing up the rope into the bag. <laughs> so beautiful. Zoom out because wow, so you can get a feel for this beautiful place. You want a video high five? Woo! That was a rubbish high five. Give me a high five. <laughs> See ya! Oh, adorable. Have a good one. Bye! So, George has left me for the ski down just because he's got something to do this afternoon, and I don't, so I'm gonna take it easy. A lot of the bottom here in the valley is pretty flat, so might have to skin out um, as well. I'm just gonna make it down pretty leisurely and go to the toilet. I can't wait. <laughs> just stopping super quickly to show you the valley that we hiked through last night, and I'm pulling through today. Um, it was super cloudy last night, but in the sun, check it out. Oh, so beautiful. Made it back to Trevi. So happy. That was such an awesome ski tour. I'm so tired right now. <laughs>